A parking garage under construction in Chattanooga is raising questions about whether it's safe for drivers to park. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. This after the contractor made repairs following a support beam accident. News Channel 9's Brianna Arredondo joins us now with those details. Brianna. Latricia, Josh, viewers raised those questions to us about the garage behind Cherokee Boulevard in Chattanooga. According to the city inspector, parking garages usually aren't open to the public until after it's complete. The city inspector explained how this case is different. Car after car enters this parking garage in North Chattanooga. It seems like it's fully open, except it's still under construction. There's a guy constantly there and he's he's always, you know, making sure we're parking in the right spot, not going to get a ticket or hit by another car or anything. So it's pretty safe, but it's just still a little inconvenient. Mandy Johnston and her mother park here on Cherokee Boulevard at James Avenue about three times a week even though there's a sign clearly warning them. We just haven't had any problems. It's quiet, feels safe. The city inspector says parking here is safe, but he also wants to caution people that this is an active construction site. Back on June 19th, this accident happened. A forklift rolled and struck a cross beam, causing the second floor to bow. It forced the site's contractor to act fast. We asked them, once they made the repairs, we asked them to get a letter from the Joyce manufacturer or an independent engineer that said the repairs were made accordingly and that everything was okay. So parking resumed. Land Development Director Gary Hilbert says there are no rules against it. We, the code doesn't regulate that. We normally would say, no, you can't do this until the construction is complete. But that's between the contractor and his insurance company. If the insurance company says, no, it's okay, then he lets them park there. So, you know, he's in preparation of pouring concrete above there and, you know, accidents happen on a construction site. Contractor John Wise says that he had to open up part of that garage due to high demand in that area. He says that that has pushed his timeline back to finish the project. Wine also says that he plans to open up the second level of that deck to cars next week and he hopes to finish everything in five weeks.